was a Ryan's Diesel Services prototype L5P turbo, and that truck is running Ryan's Diesel Services 64 millimeter turbo, in which that turbo is available right now. So if you guys want to grab one, head over to Ryan's Diesel Services and get your turbo now. You can use the promo code JW Montoya and get 5% off on any turbos on his website. The main topic of today's video is two trucks have what's called a seven to nine inch lift kits it just happens that mine is running a mcgoy seven to nine inch kit and donnie is running cognito seven to nine inch kit this is a 2020 duramax this is a 2017 duramax grew up in a place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way those of you guys who have modified a couple of trucks and put lift kits on will know what a 7 to 9 inch lift kit is and what determines that a 7 to 9 inch kit. But I know a lot of you guys out there who might be new to the diesel world or the truck world or lift kits in general might be wondering how do you turn a 7 inch kit to a 9 inch kit and how do you turn a 9 inch kit to a 7 inch kit. So this is exactly what this video is going to be about. We're going to explain how these trucks are running what's called a 7 to 9 inch lift kit. What are you complaining about? Woof. What? 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 Oh, she just wants to be touched. You're so needy. You're so needy. There's a little bit of height difference, but that is due to the fact that my truck is running 38. And also, it is the newest body style. And these trucks, just in general, are a lot bigger than the previous generation body style so from the factory these trucks can run 37s with the leveling kit no problem whereas these trucks uh 35s is like the max on a leveling kit that right there kind of explains the size difference there are a lot of lift kits out there that are seven to nine inch kits but i would say one of the most popular ones are the boys cognito with third one would be fts now this does apply to 1500s as well and for the sake of seven to nine inch kits we're going to stick to gms only i am going to explain 1500s and 2500s because they are different on how they can achieve lift height first things first these trucks 2500s all come with torsion bar system so even a leveling kit by aftermarket keys shock extenders and upper control arms which are highly recommended if you're going to put a leveling kit on unless you do a reverse level what that does is with these torsion bars on the side with these trucks let's see torsion bars right here and torsion keys right here and you guys see this bolt right there even just on leveling application just by turning this bolt left or right it'll actually move this torsion bar allowing the front end of the truck to either go up or down now whenever you put aftermarket keys which clocks the torsion bar differently achieving more room with the same amount of bolt so theoretically you don't even really need a leveling kit per se you can always buy these trucks and adjust the torsion keys that bolt on the bottom turn it all the way up and it'll raise the front end about two inches and achieve the leveling kit that way i would say the proper way to do it would be buying kryptonite leveling kit which comes with the control arms leveling keys and shock extenders that is a very crucial part to this seven to nine inch lift kit because it plays a huge role on how it sits at nine inches and these lift kits this mcgoy's kit this cognito kit is a true seven inch kit now i'm going to show you guys the cv angle in which donnie's is pretty flat and mine is at an angle Donnie's is sitting closer to I would say seven and a half possibly even eight inches just by looking at the angle of his CV axle so what that means is it's a true seven inch kit it drops the whole front end geometry seven inches if this truck was set exactly at seven inches the CV axle would be completely flat the CV axle is a little bit at an angle which shows that it's sitting at about eight maybe even less than an eight to be honest and then looking at the CV angle on mine, which it's rusted, I gotta paint those. You can see that it is at a higher angle than Donnie's, meaning it is sitting taller. So mine is probably set closer to nine, if anything, maybe eight and a half, but I would say it's relatively close to being at nine inches. So I explained the leveling kit part of this truck, which is a crucial part of the seven to nine inch kit because you get a seven inch kit 
and to set it at nine inches essentially you're pretty much adding that two inch leveling kit it is always highly recommended that you go with aftermarket control arms in this case it's a cognito lift kit so donnie went with cognito upper control arms and look at all that room that is proper amount of room i would say he even has about an inch to go up and still have plenty of downward travel whenever you're lifting these things uh, one thing you really want to look at is pretty much the downward travel from the control arm to the bump stop if it's sitting on the bump stop that's dangerous and it's going to ride really rough and if it's only got paper thin clearance that is also not good so that right there is plenty of room he's got probably another inch to go up and still maintain a really good ride quality it's a seven inch kit and you will be adding an upper control arm shock extenders and leveling keys which allows this truck from a seven inch to go all the way to nine inches now there are people who push the limit and go to 10 inches shoot i've even seen like 10 and a half close to 11 it's gonna ride really rough the control arms are gonna be sitting on the bump stop it is just not recommended nine is pretty much the max that you should go on these trucks and i'll show you guys my truck this is mcgoy's you guys saw how my angle was a little bit worse than donnie's truck so i definitely have less room between the control arm and the bump stop but i still have plenty of room to put two fingers in so mine mine does attain pretty good ride quality also you guys probably notice the downward angle on the control arm in which these control arms are pretty much designed to compensate the angle if you have stock control arms and you set it at nine inches you're putting way more stress on the ball joints on the stock control arms which are not designed for this angle the stock control arms are designed to be just completely straight but it's highly recommended that you guys go with upper control arms and now that we talked about the front end height on how you can achieve nine inches up front so obviously if you buy a seven inch kit and turn the front end up to nine inches you're gonna have about two inches of squat so how do you compensate for that squat for my mcgoy's lift kit it comes with your standard block for the seven inch kit but it also comes with my powder coat is peeling so i'm gonna have to re-powder coat that so please excuse the powder coat but you guys see those shims right there on top of the rear blocks to kind of achieve that height in the rear end however my my truck does squat about an inch which is not too noticeable compared to matt who has a seven to nine inch kelderman kit he has his front end set around eight and a half to nine the rear because of the airbags it does sit fully at nine and i even think it sits a little bit higher than nine inches if i park my truck next to his my rear end is about an inch maybe inch and a half lower than his truck at that point it is noticeable that my truck does squat a little bit now Donnie's truck if you guys can see his rear end is actually a slightly taller if not the same height as mine but you guys notice that the front end like just by looking at the mirrors my truck sits two inches taller now how do we achieve that with this truck well with Donnie's Cognito lift kit they have different options and one of the I'll say bougier options is getting these Deaver packs so Donnie replaced his factory leaf springs with this Deaver pack and just a small block in the rear to achieve nine inches in the rear. So eventually I am going to be doing different leaf pack for the rear end of my truck. I even thought about doing some sort of airbag system to maybe raise the rear a little bit taller to match the front. I still haven't figured it out. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do to achieve the height just yet. Leaf pack, but you can get an out of leaf or you can just get taller blocks. It's, it's really all up to you, but that is probably it's a better way to achieve taller height actually it rides softer but you do lose a little bit of payload by going with those deaver springs that is pretty much the case with all the duramax 7 to 9 inch lift kits because they are all torsion bar system now let's let's go over 1500s but first things first classic body 1500s 2000 to 2006 2006 and a half or seven and a half those also utilize torsion bar system so essentially to achieve the seven inch height you would do the same thing on those anything that uses struts after that that was a concept that i was a little confused about because i knew how these trucks achieved the nine inch height but i was also i was always kind of curious how do you achieve seven to nine on struts on 1500s well the cool thing is all these adjustable lift kits on the struts there is you can actually set the struts at seven eight or nine and that is how you achieve the front end height <laughs> All right, Alex, tell us how you set your strut. So this isn't the way that you're supposed to do it. But it works. Because you're supposed to take 
this nut top nut off of this bolt but it's a pain for me and so I just compress the whole thing with the top hat you're supposed to be able to take the top hat this gasket off drop the coil out of here and then down here if I can get this boot up you have when you go up some more go up some more yeah we'll go up some, some more so you got this bottom plate that the coil sits on then you have this retaining ring. So underneath that ring is going to be a retaining clip. So get your special pliers right here. Get the needle nose and pull the the reverse grip pliers. Mm -hmm. Open up the retaining ring and then. Pull your, open up some more, you're not on it anymore. Pull the clip down. It's really hard to do, but see, you got it unset from the, so I pull this one down and I just work it around and drop it down some. So like these struts, they have three marks. That's gonna be seven, eight, and nine inches. And it doesn't look like an inch, but the way the strut sits at an angle, that's how you get your inch. All right, now let's talk about 1500s and how the rear is achieved. Now on the 1500s, it's pretty much the same way. You can get a taller block or you can get a leaf pack or you can get an add a leaf. It's pretty much the same for the 1500s when it comes to putting, uh, when it comes to adding height in the rear. I hope this video answered your question on what is seven to nine inch lift kit, what determines the height, because with the 2500s, you achieve the front end height by turning the torsion bar. That's why I say things like it's sitting about eight inches, about eight and a half, because there's really no exact way of knowing unless you go out there and like seriously measure how much taller the truck is. There's really no exact height that you would you would know because it could be nine nine and a half nine and a quarter inches on the 1500s it, it's easy to tell because the struts are determined you know the, the struts determine the height you can either be set at seven eight or nine the with alex's truck for those of you guys that know our buddy alex aka southern showstopper his truck is a 2016 or 17 it's a 1500 he is running an eight inch super lift cool thing about that super lift kit is it it's a true eight inch kit and you guys heard me talk about true seven inch kit on these trucks right there. So Alex's super lift being true eight inch lift is that it drops everything eight inches and his front end geometry is flat at eight inches of height. He is actually sat at 11 inches up front and he recently bought some Deaver Springs and different blocks to achieve the rear end height at 11 inches. What we're doing is installing two inch leveling kit in the front you set this truck at what 10 inches 11 inches overall base kit eight inch super lift i wasn't happy with the big eight inch block so i went with the max track seven to nine strut just like the mcgoys and set at nine if you look at the cvs it's like a one inch leveling kit because it's an eight inch diff drop with a nine inch lift so i'm throwing two more on it to set 11 and that'll be like a three inch leveling kit so right. cv angles will be fine right. that's the goal that's the goal we'll see it we'll see how it looks afterwards if not I mean, we got... I'll drop the strut down to eight. Exactly. So that's kind of the cool thing about having the adjustable strut is once he puts that two-inch leveling kit and if he thinks that's too high, we can adjust the struts, set the truck at 10 inches. It'll give you a better geometry up front. But yeah. Oh, and then you, in the rear, you already have an eight-inch block, right? Eight-inch block in the rear. Perfect. So, so it'll be eight and 11, so I'll have a one-inch squat. All right. So Not bad. Fingers. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, his angle probably looks terrible. Surprisingly... For an eight inch kit and setting it at 11 inches, his angles aren't that bad at all. And his truck still arrived really good. Definitely did go over his truck before. So if you guys are curious about everything that's done to it, we'll probably do another walk around of his truck once he gets the Deaver Springs in the rear and get some of the color matching finalized. We'll do another full walk around of his truck. That is how you achieve all these heights on these lift kits. Lastly, have you guys ever noticed buying a four inch lift kit and a six inch lift kit, the prices are essentially the same thing. Now, how could that be? Have you, have you guys ever noticed that? If not, go check out BDS, Zone, Rough Country. Go check out all their lift kits. Their four inch kits and their six inch kits are essentially the same price. Maybe like $50 difference. You guys wanna know why that is? All six inch kits are pretty much a four inch kit. 
it's just turn the keys up. With Rough Country, I know their seven and a half inch kit is essentially their five and a half inch kit with either bigger strut spacer. So for 1500 application, they send you bigger strut spacers. And that's the same thing with Zone as well. Their six inch kit is their four inch kit with bigger strut spacer and they send you bigger rear blocks. That is something I bet most of you guys didn't know. You guys thought, probably thought the seven inch kit was a seven inch kit and five inch kit is a five inch kit. In a way it is, but only difference is just the strut spacer and your angles on the seven and a half inch kit or the six inch kit is gonna be at a steeper angle than your smaller kits like your four inch kits or four and a half inch kits. So like my BDS lift kit on my LOI, it could be a six and a half inch kit if I wanted it to be. Right now it's sitting exactly at four and a half and the front end geometry is perfect. And my truck for the for the front end being turned up pretty high, it rides really good. Donnie's truck rides absolutely amazing. We are in the process of rebuilding it. it it's gonna be a bigger beast. I'll show you guys a little rendering of what's to come. So essentially we want, we want to do a 10 to 12 inch Mogoy's lift kit and do 26 by 16s and 39 inch Versa tires. So with that being said, this nine inch Cognito lift kit is for sale so if anybody who is interested in buying this lift kit message donnie on his instagram this is a seven to nine inch lift kit with uh, all the premium upgrades such as the upper control arms the diver packs i hope i was able to answer some of your questions regarding your adjustable lift kits now that is the same for 10 to 12 inch lift kits as well it's a true 10 inch kit and add a little bit of upgraded components to set it at 12 inches and let me know in the comments below if there's any other topic that you guys want me to make a video about please don't be hesitant to comment below if i've made a video on it i'll let you guys know i would like to get more topic ideas so help me out here i'll leave a comment below but for the most part i hope this video helped you guys also if, if it was informational please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button uh, stay tuned for our future plans with our builds that is it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time peace like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>